calling in air support. Target located. Need for Speed Rivals is the follow-up to 2012's Most Wanted, but the difference is this game is coming out on the next generation of consoles, so what does that do for the game? How have you guys upped the bar on the previous iteration? So, yeah, obviously, the new generation consoles will have a lot more power. With that power, we can do lots of things. We can make the game look more visually beautiful. We can have much more particles in the world. The world can feel much more alive. We can potentially up the number of players, so at least we can explore what it means to the gameplay when we get more players in the game. Basically, the way I see it is that when we look at Next Generation, it is really all about what can create a better gameplay experience for the gamers. The extra power with visuals is just a given. It is what you do with that power to create kind of Next Generation thinking in gameplay. Target locked. Take him out. You can't talk about Need for Speed and not talk about cars, so are there any new cars that we can expect to drive and can we customize? How does that work? So I guess if, if that can be seen, uh, there's a big Ferrari behind me. It's the first time in seven years we have Ferrari back in the game. Feels obviously really good because it's called Need for Speed. It's about highly exotic, aspirational, sexy cars. If you don't have Ferrari in there, you are kind of not really delivering on the promise, I would say. So they're back, they're in, and they're beautiful, they're fast. You know, we love them. Walk me through the structure of the game and who we are driving against. So in this game, it kind of goes back to the roots of the, I guess, hot pursuit experience of Colt versus Racers. We're kind of taking a different approach to it. We make the two sides very dissimilar. So playing through as a cop is totally different to playing it through as a racer. Totally different motivations, what you do, different scoring systems, different cars, different technology, and I guess most important, two very separate careers so you can choose how you want to play it. What would you say fans are going to really get a kick out of in this game that maybe they haven't seen before? Our kind of cornerstone feature is something we call All Drive, which is fundamentally destroying that line between single player co-op and multiplayer. So instead of having a menu and lobbies and waiting, you just have a Need for Speed world and then you and your friends seamlessly decide how you want to play there. Once we get seamless integration of friends, we add a layer of the unexpected into the experience. So all of a sudden you start seeing experiences, you know, a cop is pursuing me and all of a sudden you come into the game and you make a jump and you land on the cop and save me from that. Those are the things that can be scripted to some degree in a normal game, but you only have very few of those events. Now we just open that Pandora's box of that control chaos. You've not seen that before.